story about a guy that was out in the woods and his Jeep wouldn't crank or whatever he had and he had one of those new red top gel coat batteries and he had injured himself somehow and he couldn't walk out so he got in there and using just the starter was able to drive that thing out of the woods for something like three or four miles and I don't know if that's true or not I think it could have been a youtuber that told me that story but I got one of them kind of batteries I don't think it's fully charged. I had it hooked to a charger yesterday and the charger had a uh, an automatic setting and every time I would set it on the automatic setting it would almost seem like the battery was going dead. I finally figured out that that wasn't working. But the manual setting was working so I charged it a goodly bit. Now right now if I can get that tire to hop up on this ramp on the left side you see how it's kind of coming up the side then I will be in a pretty good position to get this in here. Even if it's not running, I can get it in here by cranking it. And that's really my main goal of the day is to get it in here. So uh, I'm gonna just let it charge some more. I might move the Toyota, get it a little closer. i park the nose of it right over here. And that way I got a little more cable. It's kind of like a radio control card like that, ain't it? Uh, but once we get it in there, I can hook a good battery charger to it. It's uh, It hadn't want, wanted to hit so far this morning, which surprises me because usually if I can get a little gas in the carburetor, it'll crank right up. But, you know, I didn't crank it much this winter. A lot of times during the winter, I'll crank it every so often. And This last winter, I neglected it. Anything that you have that sits around nowadays, especially with this kind of gas that we have, it won't last forever. Uh, Kind of a nice picture there with the spider webs all over it. 